Hey guys, it's like that. So today I'm going to be filming a huge collective makeup haul once again. A lot of these things I got from Sephora with my own money. First starting off with Sigma, they did send me a few items and also I do have a discount code now and it is for 10% off and the code is IVET. It'll be down below if you guys are interested. They sent me this whole box right here and guys, they sent me some good Good, good. The first thing they sent me is this bunny eye brush set and it comes with seven pieces. They're baby blue and I believe these are new and I think they're Easter themed because they're the bunny brush set. I'm not completely sure. The reason I have this open already is because I used it today on this look that I did today which is this blue cut crease and it's just so pretty guys and these brushes are great. And they sent me a backup of this Sig Magic brush shampoo. Guys, this stuff is so good. I used it on my beauty blender and it literally took out all of the gunk out of the beauty blender and I was like wow this stuff really is magic. It'd be a little bit pricey but with my 10% off code I mean it's worth it. Then they sent me this line ace. I haven't heard of this before so I'm not sure what this is but this is in the shade legend so let's open it up and see what it is. Okay so I'm thinking this is a liquid liner. It is. So let me just do a little swatch on the back of my hand for you guys to see how black and pigmented it is. Oh shoot that is black. That is nice. I'll keep you guys updated on this. I'll definitely do a makeup tutorial using this and kind of give you guys a little mini review during. You sent me this Fall Softly Professional Makeup Collection Palette. The colors are so pretty. I see that they're very pastel. So this is definitely a spring themed box that they sent me this month. Holy wow, these are beautiful. And Sigma also has really nice blushes, so I'm excited to see what this one looks like. This one is in the shade Lady Slippers, pinky purple blush, and this is a unique blush. I wouldn't normally wear this, but you know what? Spring is around the corner. Actually, it's already spring. What am I talking about? So I'm gonna give this a try. Sigma, when it comes to packaging, they have some cute packaging, like this holographic type look. So they sent me two of these loose shimmers, and this one here is an ice castle in the sky, and this one is in by the light of the moon. I'll give you guys a little glance instead of me opening them, because if I do, it's gonna go all over my bed sheets. Also, the dust is very finely milled. So this little set was ice castles in the sky. And then this set right here is by the light of the moon. So that was it for Sigma, and now moving on to buxom they gifted me a few lip products but from all of them i think that these two were the best ones they gave me two of these plump line lip liners and one is in a brown shade and in a red shade so this one here is the brown one which is undercover and then this one's the red one that's called code red and what's different about these is that the other side comes with a little brush and i got a package from glam glow and they always hook it up guys so they came out with these new products here so they gave me three of these mega illuminating moisturizers and i'm assuming that they're just pretty much illuminating moisturizers but they gave me them in three different shades so they gave me this one in pearl glow then they gave me this one in sun glow and nude glow and also glam glow has the cutest packaging too alongside sigma like, it just looks so chic and very futuristic, which I think is super cute. So, this one is in Nude Glow, and I'm assuming that this one is for light to medium, and oh my gosh. And this is what it looks like. It literally looks like golden yogurt. Oh my gosh. And the smell is amazing. It smells just like their matte moisturizer. Like, it smells like peaches and cream. It's so nice. So, I'm, so I'm going to dip my finger in here, and... Just kind of run it against my arm and see if it illuminates. It does illuminate the tiniest bit, but it's barely there. It's very sheer, but it smells good and it's moisturizing. Then I got a package from number seven, and it's so funny that they reached out to me because when I was little in Target, I'd see that number seven was like exclusively like away from all the other drugstore products. So when I saw number seven makeup products, I thought that they were like the luxurious ones compared to the other ones. So when they reached out to me, it was kind of like like a little throwback in my mind. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but they sent me a bag of goodies and I already swatched one of their bronzers and I was like, damn, this is probably gonna be my favorite. So they first sent me three of their Radiant Under Eye Glow Concealers and I am going to swatch one of them, one that's closest to my skin tone. 
it's actually pretty good coverage. I would say that it's medium coverage and you can totally build it up because you just need to add some more layers. But I got sent two of their number seven lipsticks and this one here is in the shade Honey Bloom and this one is in the shade Berry Blush. They sent me two of their Stay Perfect lipsticks. This one here is the darker one. This one is Dark Berry. This one's the more nude one in the shade Cinnamon Spice. They're very creamy, that's what I have to say, but I'm not really into mauve berry colors, so those will definitely go to my mom. And they also sent me two of their blushes. They first sent me this one in Damson Mist, and then this one here, which looks something like more that I would wear, and it's called Peach Velvet. I really want to swatch Peach Velvet. Oh yes, that is so pretty. A little chalky, but I do prefer a more sheer blush, so that's going to work for me. And they also sent me their airbrush primer, and of course I don't really feel like I need to swatch this because primers are clear. Okay, so now for the two products that I'm super excited to show you guys from number 7 is their two bronzers. Guys, this stuff is buttery, creamy, and the perfect shade. It's not too orange at all. It's like this perfect tan. So this is the one that I tried out. This one is in golden sand, and let me just give you guys a swatch. So look at this color here. It's perfect and beautiful so I'm going to take a swatch of it right here and then this one is in the shade caramel and this one's a little darker so let's just see oh my gosh that is beautiful they swatch so nice and buttery so I love these so much and I know that these are drugstore so these probably are super affordable so from the looks of all these things I want to try them all out so I know for sure I'm going to be filming a first impressions using new products that I just got I'm so excited for this one guys Becca sent me out a third package they've sent me two packages before this one's the third and guys I don't know if you guys know this but if you guys have been following me for quite a while you guys would know that bronzers are my thing I love to be bronzed and today ignore me I am literally whiter than a snowman Becca has got my back they sent me their new collection of new bronzers so this is what the package looks like guys their PR is just doing great things so this first one is in Bali Sands so this one is definitely for lighter skin tones. Here we have Capri Coast, Bronzed Bondi, Ipanema Sun, and very lastly, Maui Suns. So that was all for Becca. Thank you guys so much for sending me that. I'm going to have so much fun with all those bronzers. But now moving on to the very last PR that I got, and that's from BoxyCharm. On the inside, they gave me all these cute little products here. This is also Easter-themed or spring-themed, so let's get right into it. These don't seem very squishy, but they're going to be fun to try out. You never know if you can ever find a beauty blender dupe. And they sent me this hair girt in the scent Strawberry Banana Shampoo. I've heard so much good stuff about this, so I'm really interested to see how this works out so I'll probably keep you guys updated if I end up using it. Then they sent me this concealer collection 16 color pro concealer palette and this is by Measurable Difference. I haven't heard of them before. This comes with a beautiful range of colors that had no pigment at all. It's right there and you literally cannot see it. Let's try one more time so you guys can see. Literally, it's all oil. And the last two products that they sent me is this Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter. This is what it looks like. I already have one myself, thanks to Kiara, because we always gift each other cute little things. I love her so much. If you guys haven't checked her out, she'll be in the link down below. And lastly, I got this Cargo Cosmetics Umbrella Liquid Lipstick. And let me just give you guys a little swatch. I'm trying to swatch this, but it's literally so sticky and weird. Okay. I don't like this. But it does smell like chocolate, so that's good. Thank you so much to all the companies that sent me PR. You guys are all very, very appreciated, and you guys have awesome products. Now, moving on to what I think you guys want to see most. The damage I made in Sephora. But before I jump into the rest of the makeup, I did want to show you guys these beautiful Key Australia X Desi Perkins glasses that I got. So these are what they look like. I also ordered the olive ones, but they haven't came in yet. I feel like these may be a little too big on my face, but you know what? They're beautiful. Okay, so now we're really moving on to the damage I did in Sephora. So I'm first starting off with a gift that I actually got from Kiara. I love her so much. And she got me the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette, guys. I am super excited about this. You guys know how much I love my highlight and everyone else in their mama. So here's a few swatches for you guys. Dead. 
So thank you so much, my Kiara. I love you so much. If you guys have been on my channel for quite a while, you guys would probably be thinking right now that it's really weird that I picked up some hair products because I literally never picked them up. But if you guys know Valerie Star, she's done my makeup for all of the Windsor shoots and she's just amazing. She does the makeup so effortless and she just makes you look so glam, but it's very subtle. So if you guys want to check her out, she'll be in the link down below. But she used these in my hair and the way that she does hair, it's like she has a special touch. And so she just really inspired me to pick these up because this is what she uses religiously. So I got the Way Dry Shampoo and I also got the Way Texturizing Hairspray. Next, I got this Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. I have been wanting to pick this up for quite a while, but then I kind of forgot about it and then I remembered about it again, so I had to pick it up. I'm not even gonna lie, I got it just because of how cute it looks. Like, this is a hot pink bottle. Then I got this Tarte Skincare Drink of H2O Moisturizer. This, I've heard great things about. So, basically, it just literally feels like water on your skin. And it hydrates very well, but I'll let you guys know how I like it. And I got another setting spray. I have tons of setting sprays, so honestly, I don't even know why I picked up so many. But this is the cover of effects illuminating setting spray this one said illuminating so I was like sold gotta get it I forgot to show you guys one lip gloss that I got from Buxom this one is in the shade Celeste and just a little close-up it has these beautiful specks of just shimmer and glitter which I think is beautiful and I just got a few Marc Jacob things not too many but this was their bronzing limited edition brush but I have a similar one from Real Techniques but this one is from Marc Jacobs so imagine how much better my my favorite drugstore brush is compared to the Marc Jacobs one. So I had to pick it up. I've seen the Barbie Rapunzel movie because if you guys have this, it really reminds me of her brush. <gasps> oh my gosh, I've always wanted one as a kid. So they have two of these bronzers. I didn't pick up the limited edition one. I got this original one. This one is in the shade 102 Tantric. And the other one that is a limited edition, which I do want to still pick up, even though it's almost the same thing. The other one is a little bit lighter, so it would match me a little bit better. And this one is more for, like, if you're already tan. Their new limited edition little line that they're having for the spring summertime. And they're just basically illuminating drops. And I'm going to give you guys a little swatch here. A little bit goes a long long way. And these two products I also got inspiration to get from Amy Macedo. Okay, this is actually a lip gloss. And I've been wanting a baby pink, just the perfect everyday baby pink lip gloss. And this one is definitely it. I have more of that minty smell, so I know that this one is going to kind of plump up my lips. But just look at that packaging. It's so beautiful and just so simple. This Marc Jacobs highliner, and this one is in a baby pink shade. I love a baby pink shade for highlighting the brow bone. So I decided why not get one for my waterline and see how it just enlarges my eyes. This one is in the shade 59 Pink of Me. Very just innocent and pure looking. Okay, don't judge me. I know I get super passionate about makeup, but I just love makeup, guys. It's my then I got this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and again, I got this for the packaging. It's the holographic products. I am all for it, and I go and get it ASAP. Like, the detail is just honestly insane, and oh my gosh, I don't even know, like... This is honestly so beautiful. Recently, I've been loving Bite lipsticks. So, Bite Beauty, I got another lipstick. And this one, I actually got the inspo from a Roxa Teresa. I actually met her at one of the awesomeness TV shows that we did one time. And it was all the way back in September. I haven't seen her since. But she is such a kind soul. If you guys haven't checked her out, she will also be in the link down below. She's... Honestly, she's great, and she uploads very frequently as well. She has this one in the shade Honeycomb, and I saw that she posted it on her Instagram story, so I was like, girl, I'm snatching that right up. I got this Makeup Forever Starlit Liquid, and this one is in the shade 03. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to blend it out for you guys to see how far this will blend. It does feel a little bit gritty. The Cover FX one is very smooth. You don't feel any grittiness. This one, you can definitely feel the glitter in it, but that's not something that I mind because I'm literally a glitter ball. So two more things. I got the Dior Shimmering Sculpting Powder. This one I seen all over people's Snapchats and their Instagrams, so. but it comes in this beautiful packaging and it also comes with a little brush. So this is in the shade 001, and when you open it, it's beautiful. 
Uh, amazing illuminator. Well, I don't really know why it came with a dense kabuki brush because that's definitely not what you apply your highlighter with. And now completely lastly for this haul is this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is in the shade Colt. It's actually a very, very nude, nude color. And again, I got the inspiration from Amy Macedo. It's this color right here and it's the most beautiful neutral toned nude. So pretty. What? Just kidding. I have one very last thing. This is the Natasha Denona Star Palette. And, and they literally sold me because I don't have a palette anything like this. So when you open it up, it looks like this. And let's just take a moment for all these colors. So that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And as always, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video.